Dairy is a massive, massive part of the regional economy. Because we've been here for generations, we've been able to adapt to change. I'm doing things in a way that, that is scientifically based and environmentally sound. Where our business is where we live. So for us, we've got to make sure that it's an environment that we like to live in. Its key asset is its people. Dairy will remain here for a very long time. The industries the major industry in the region between Geelong and the South Australian border. We've got 1,728 farms, we've got eight major processing facilities. Across Australia we produce down here 2.1 billion litres a year, that's 6 million litres a day. We go from close to Geelong right across to the South Australian border and uh, we contribute in some areas of Western Victoria to up to 50% of the gross domestic product. We produce up to about uh, $4 billion in gross worth for this region, and I think it's 400,000 cows. We produce 22% of Australia's milk. Most businesses are affected by what goes on in the dairy industry. The money that's generated on farm then gets spent in the local region. The memories have been here since 1916 or thereabouts. Fifth generation I am, and I've just taken over the reins as share farmer from my parents. Because we've been here for generations, we've been able to adapt to change and we keep moving forward. We try and do everything as close to perfect as we can because that's the best way to run a business and to make the most profit. We love the lifestyle. One, we're in, we're in the country and we love living in the country without the hustle and bustle. The family farm will stay because they've proven over the last hundred years that they can be quite successful. We've been working with farm men and women since 2003, particularly looking at their health, well-being, and safety of themselves the farm family and the farming business. While they understand everything that goes on in cow nutrition, they really need to also understand what goes on in human health and wellbeing and the impact it has on the farm production system. When we first came here, we had a, a major erosion problem down the back. It was actually a liability to the farm, but by uh, planting trees and um, solving the erosion problem, we actually created an asset. It was always my uh, ambition or dream, if you like, that someday we'd have uh, koalas here and uh, we've planted the right trees and uh, three years ago they actually started coming through which was great. We've only been making cheeses now for about three and a half years. Uh, we had a five year plan where we'd get up to around about 20% of our milk which is roughly about 250,000 litres. We're looking at um, mainly the, the trade here as far as tourism goes, we want to build that and I think people when they're travelling especially They'd like to know what is the local produce. We started up four years ago with the intention that we should tap into the tourist market and it's, uh, it's really working for us. It's a lifestyle that I want to make sure that, that I enjoy it, that uh, my wife and my children enjoy it, is something that I, I take for granted, I suppose, but it's in, a, in a way it's, uh, it's something that I look to improve every day as well. We've planted 20 kilometres worth of trees, so approximately 20,000 trees have planted on the farm, bringing school groups to come in. That's a laugh a moment when you get a heap of 10 and 12 year olds running around planting trees. It's an ongoing process. Uh, when we first came to the farm and did our whole farm plan, our master plan, our intention was to have every paddock have water and trees in every paddock so there was protection for the cows. Right from the farm level to production level, we're all making sure that uh, we can map what nutrients we're putting on farms. The dairy industry has been very proactive in looking at how it can reduce uh, the runoff of nutrients into waterways. We have such good rainfall that this is prime dairy country. Southwest Victoria is, is blessed, if you like, with a, a wonderful climate for dairy farming. So it's going to be a leading dairy area well into the future. And, and our local council is already talking about people moving to this area as what you would call climate change refugees or drought refugees. I mean, the reliability of the water supply here is, is one of the major assets. This will be, I think, one of the leading regions. All the water on Warnable Trees and Butter site here goes through a wastewater treatment process. We then truck that organic fertiliser back out to our suppliers on farm and fertilise the grass that the cows are eating uh, back out on farm. That actually helps our farmers because it reduces their need for purchasing fertiliser. It reduces our need to dispose of the potential waste product, so it's making that reuse, so it reduces the cost for our business as well as our supplier's business. 
we hope that within the next couple of years that of the total water we use on the site, over 50% of it will be reused or recovered water. In the last couple of years, the dairy industry has done some great things in dairy education. We're working closely with other training organisations, getting the curriculum and the research intrinsically linked, so we're constantly moving forward and our young people are very close to the cutting edge of what's been developed for them to understand the future of what they need to know in dairy farming. The school-based apprenticeship program is a terrific program. A student comes from a local school uh, and spends one day a week on our farm. The main thing that I see is that every time the person comes to our property that they learn something new. I was interested in agriculture and I wanted to do some dairy work so I gave Phil a call. I'm out working outside with the animals and the calves and the cows and the birds. It's really really good, I'm really loving it. Um, it feels really great to work with and I'm learning something new every week. I want to do the artificial insemination when I complete my certificate two and three in agriculture and then hopefully I'll be on a farm by myself one day. The strategic plan is about growth and it's about sustainability. It's how do we operate in the region, what do we need to keep the industry as it is, what do we need to keep it growing. We've worked along seven areas. We've worked on the human resources side of things, we've worked on the natural resources, we've worked on the infrastructure, we've looked at knowledge, we've looked at the capital we need for sustainability, the markets, and then finally the actual production system on farm. We've ended up with about a thousand people having an input into this plan, which means that we're all fired up, ready to deliver it. Dairy will remain here for a very long time.